Hi, I'm Ray Gesson with Chimney Sweeps International, and this is called Chimney Overview. Specifically, there are two types of chimneys. There are prefabricated chimneys and masonry chimneys. This one's about masonry chimneys. Hey, what is a masonry chimney? It's a brick chimney. So if you take a look at the outside of your home, the odds are, unless it's a brick facade chimney, then it is a masonry chimney. If the inside of your fireplace is all brick and it looks like brick, then it's a masonry fireplace. So let me tell you about the components of your chimney. Quick, easy to understand. I'm gonna go from the top to the bottom. The very top is a chimney cap. It's called a spark arrestor. And what it does is, is that keeps water from going down your chimney. It keeps out birds, animals, and leaves and debris, things like that from coming down. It also helps prevent wind-induced downdrafts, and that way it doesn't blow stuff back in your house. It also helps to keep embers, hot embers, from coming up outside of your flue and landing on your roof. That's a chimney cap. Just underneath the chimney cap is a chimney flue liner. The flue liner is usually a vitrified clay liner. It's a clay liner that runs from about two to four inches above your crown, runs all the way down your chimney to land on top of your smoke chamber. This is a liner that contains the gas and runs it up the chimney safely. It's meant to be that way. Third is, is a chimney crown that goes around your flue tile. The chimney crown is meant to keep water from coming down inside of your chimney chase. In other words, all the brick uh, that is underneath this chimney crown, it keeps water from going down and deteriorating all the brick and the brick joints. It, it's meant to have water hit it and go off the sides. Third is a drip edge. The outside, it corbels out and that way water doesn't drip down your chimney. If it cascades down your chimney, then what ends up happening is, is that the bricks and the mortar joints get deteriorated real bad. You don't want to have that happen. Spray chimney saver water repellent if you need that. Keep going down that you've got your chimney flashing. The chimney flashing prevents any water that's going down your chimney from getting in between your roof and your chimney. It's metal pieces that kind of bend up. It should wriggle it inside of the uh, brick, but it keeps water from going in between your chimney and your roof. It can deteriorate uh, rafters, roof sheathing, all kinds of other stuff. Then finally, if you have a wide chimney, is a chimney cricket. The chimney cricket looks like a hat. It's meant to have water go on both sides. Have a chimney cricket if it's over 30 inches wide. Keep going down, there are chimney shoulders. Chimney's small and then it gets open for a wider fireplace. Those uh, chimney shoulders, if they leak, you don't want them leaking because underneath the chimney shoulders is a smoke chamber. And what a smoke chamber is, is that it's the inside of the chimney shoulders where all the hot gases and things like that from the damper to the flue transition and it funnels it up the chimney. So it has a smooth transition required by code. And what it's meant to do is, is to take the draft of the smoke and run it to the flue liner to have it get out of the chimney quickly. At the bottom of the smoke chamber is a chimney damper and a smoke shelf. Uh, the chimney damper lifts open to open to allow the gases go up and close if you're not using it and that way cold air doesn't come down your chimney. The smoke shelf is actually a critical portion and what the smoke shelf does is that the chimney has gases go up the chimney and has air go down the chimney at the same time. So what ends up happening is, is that the gases go up the chimney and air comes down the chimney. It's like a road, okay? It's a two-way street, but it hits the bottom of the smoke shelf, hits it, curls back up, and, and does a U-turn and runs up the chimney. And that just kind of gives it a pivot and helps draw up the draft. If you don't have a properly smoothed angle smoke shelf, it will actually decrease the draft of your chimney and create more creosote. Finally, inside of the fireplace, you've got your firebox, you've got your fire brick, you've got your refractory mortar. On the inside, you've got your hearth, you've got your inner hearth, you've got your outer hearth, you've got profile seams going up the sides, and you've got a lintel joint going up on the top. And then finally, in the very bottom, is an ash dump door. And you can use that to clean out ashes after a fire is done. So in a nutshell, that composes the ins and outs of a masonry chimney. If you want more specific information on each one of those individual items, then click on our other videos and they will get into really good depth of why they're important. I'm Ray Gesser with Chimney Sweeps International. 
Thanks for tuning in.